Susie McNeil and I catching up on old times, but time to talk about new times. Dear Love is the name of the brand new CD came out just a couple of weeks ago. Hotly My anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, and Susie, we listen, we got we got no script. The world is our oyster. Uh oh. What do you want to talk about? I didn't do it. No, let's <laughs> let's talk about your album. Thank you. It's amazing, first to. of all. Thanks. Yeah. And, and I'm going to ask you a question just because I know, I sort of know the answer. I always find it interesting when people are like, why did it take you so long to put out another record? Like, as if you're just, I don't know, doing hanging whatever, out. hanging out or traveling <laughs> the world or just like, I don't, I don't feel like it. There's usually a pretty good reason it takes a little while, right? Yeah, I mean, it, I think the, the reasons vary. Mine was probably a, a generic reason. I was writing a lot for this and I put a lot of thought into it and I also was like hands on with every single thing. Mm -hmm. Like I'd literally be like, okay, that sound. Um, you know, that sound, okay, this vocal. But I think for me, it was more that I really wanted to write with a ton of people um, and sort of generate, you know, something that I felt really proud of, mm -hmm. uh, that told my story. And and, um, and then, you know, there's also label reasons. There was a, you know, it's when they're ready, it's like, they're, you know, you release in quarters and stuff like that. Is it good to go right before Christmas? Who else is releasing at that time? There's all those, like, the politics of the industry as well. So right. everything needs to combine. My, my record was supposed to come out in February. It's been done for a while. So um, yeah, it just, it kept getting pushed back, pushed back. We added another song at the very end. Like, so it gives you a chance to do that, right? Yeah, to sort of do yeah some it, it just has to be right. Look. It is right, <laughs> it's right. So I, I mean, how do, you, so. how do you feel now? Because this is actually, um, uh, it sounds sort of, sort of cliche the way I'm going to say it, but it's your most revealing album yet. I mean, you really gave a lot of your, your heart, your soul. You talked about um, your relationship and, and how grateful you are to actually, you know, have gone through that. Yeah, I mean, I, when I was in the middle of writing, I was breaking up and getting back together with my boyfriend like 80 times. And um, I was talking to someone about like what makes good writing and what does is, is, is your truth, obviously. So I thought, this is like all I can think about right now is this mm. whole thing. So I decided I'm making, I'm telling my story. It's a very universal story. I mean, we've all experienced some amount of heartbreak. But it, my my hope was that, you know, it actually would help. Like if there's like a young girl who just got dumped, put on, you know, track six, cry your eyes out, then put on track 10 and like, you know, go to the gym and work out and feel good. <laughs> um, but also it's helped me because it's quite a poppy record, but I also have a little bit of depth to me, I'd like to think. You do. <laughs> of course so, you do. No. So I, I wanted to make it sort of mean more than just a bunch of singles. And, um, and I'm, I've, I've sort of built a story around the whole thing of this girl, you know, it's called Dear Love and it's literally a, a letter sort of remembering this relationship and, and, the, and chronicling it. And there's a possibility that they, this actually might be turned into a sort of a theatrical piece based yes. on the album? Yep, I'm working on that in Toronto right now. It's been sort of a long, long time dream of mine to make like a mini little like musical operetta thing that tells the story. So I, I went to the first rehearsal yesterday and we're gonna, um, we're gonna put it on in Toronto and then try and move it across the country, so hopefully, yeah. if it's good, we'll come here. We'll find you a venue. Yeah. 